everybody, it's Nicole with Stargazer Soaps. I am doing a remake. This is Ariel. And Ariel is a, a fruity soap. This is one of my most popular soaps they offer. Um, it sells really, really, really fast. It's one of our favorites here. It's blackberry, citrus, and champagne. If you can see inside my strainer, this is just silk. That's why I'm straining this because of the silk particles. Go ahead and pour in my cream. I'm going to go ahead and put my fragrance in because this is a nice fragrance. The last four I have soaked, last three I have soaked, have been florals and have been fast movers and have not been very nice to me. So it'll be nice for to have a, a change of pace here. Mm. You smell that? Yeah. I love that. I am a fruity citrus fan. Can you have my favorite towel, please, sir? I'm soaping at a new angle here. Whoa, hello. <laughs> well, that was fun. Get a little messy, yeah. That's all right. I think that will be good. It's probably more than I really need. That's okay. And then the rest is normally I leave this um, plain. I'm going to put some gold dust in there just to give it a little bit of a golden shimmer. So it doesn't really change the color of the, the soap very much. Just gives it that shimmer. I can see the shimmer. And you can see the shimmer? Yeah. Cool. Alright. Remember the first time I used the screen, I was like, what the heck? I kept adding more and more. I have since learned that's not necessary. It will turn back to the really pretty bright green that I want it to be. And this needs some more purple. That's not bright enough. Let's do this one. This particular purple's from Mad Oils. I get asked all the time, where do you get your micas? All over. I have um, three different micas in here right now, and they're all from different companies. So, Nurtures, um, The Scented, Mad Oils, I'm forgetting some. Actually, those might be the top three. Brambleberry, I have a few from them. Those might be the top three that I order from, Michael Wise. I don't use anything that has dyes in it, though. I don't use phthalates or um, parabens or anything like that. I'm very, very picky. If the company doesn't have their ingredients listed, I will not buy from them. I'm just going to stir this up really fast. And I know that I'm off camera, but I'm just stirring. Okay. Turn this around and pour some in. Yeah, I should have left some more with my base. Okay, I think I usually do green first. Not that it matters. Yeah, this is going to be more colorful than I... Oh, 
typically like. But that's okay. I think that's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. I have extra soap here so I can just um, save some of the colored. I made extra so I can pour a few extra bars for us. even going to swirl this. I think I'm going to leave it. What do you think? Should I just leave it? Yeah. And let it swirl itself? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I think I just put the bucket right in front of... Whoa! The camera. See, I can't turn to check for that while I'm pouring, apparently. That takes talent. I don't have. Okay. Can you pour off another paper towel for me, honey? Yeah. I'll just put it on the table. Oh, I should have poured the green first. Oh, well. it off here. I don't want to fill my mold. It's going to take a while with that. So. I have a lid that I want to be able to put on so I had my mold made a little taller than what I want my bars to be. This is taking a little bit, but that's okay. It's relaxing to me. I'm not having to be rushed. I almost, you know, I thought about just um, waiting before I did the top. I thought, no. And then ironic, I go from too too thick to too runny, huh? Yeah. It's looking really well because it's not being thick. Yeah. Well, I don't mind when they get thick. Sometimes you want them thick, but... When you're having to use a butter knife to cut them out of the bowl, that's not exactly what you want. I didn't have that, but pretty close. And I had that not that long ago. All right, let's see here. What do I want to do? all over my pretty new mold. I guess it's inevitable. I'm going to get soap on the soap mold. I'm not going to smack this down. I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, well, that's all. Mm. 
Okay, there is Ariel. And don't go anywhere. I will have the cutting on the back half of this video. Okay, here's Ariel. Still in the slab. I'm going to go ahead and cut into my logs. Slow and steady. I don't want to break my wire. Here's one loaf. Go ahead and cut the middle loaf. Just line it up here. This one's still pretty soft, but it's hard enough that I can cut it. Here's one end piece. And the other, the ends are usually pretty unremarkable. But there's an inside. I love the way this one smells. It's uh, one of my favorites by far. And I'm just going to cut the one loaf. Oh, it's got a little heart in it on camera. But um, <clears throat> this soap will be available around middle of April 2016 and will be on my website, stargazersoaps.com. Thanks for watching.